Hey, my name is Gitas. I'm a product designer based in Lithuania. And in this video, I'll share with you how I use ChatGPT to improve my own design process from generating better ideas for MVP and concept design, creating user interview questions, and even improving my portfolio. If that sounds interesting to you, sit back, relax, and let's learn something new. So ChatGPT would give you fairly broad answers if you would just ask multiple questions from different industries. But because I know I will be asking a lot of questions about UX design and design specific questions, I wanted to answer from a more contextual place. So to do that, I'm asking ChatGPT to ignore all previous instructions to have a clean memory and then act as a UX design expert. And after that, I'm just adding details that are relevant to me. And this will just help ChatGPT to provide me a better answers that are more related to my questions. And if the command is right, then ChatGPT will give you uh, sort of an answer that they understood and they're waiting for your prompt. So let's try and give it some prompts. So let's assume that you're starting a new project and it's going to be about investments. So you're building an investment app and this particular niche will have a certain jargon and concepts that you're just not familiar with, especially if you're starting in a new industry. So to help you learn these particular concepts and jargons, it's a great uh, way to use a simple prompt and asking to do exactly that, explaining jargon and concepts and providing a simple explanation with specific examples, analogies or anecdotes to make it easier to remember. And this is just a way that works for me, but it gives me a list of uh, jargons or concepts and provides me a simple uh, explanation. And then it gives me even analogies from the world about things that I, I know are really simple and easy to understand and it even sometimes introduces anecdotes and it just all of this just helps me to get up to speed faster so that I can have a better communication with my clients. In order to create a more competitive product you need to know about the top players in your industry. So to learn about them in the quickest amount of time, I'm using this prompt, which asks ChatGPT to list the top 10 educational mobile apps teaching beginners to invest. And I'm asking to compare it based on features, ease of use, educational content quality, and some other factors that are specific for this niche. So you need to know a little bit. You have a, you need to have a conversation probably with your client about what are the most important factors, but some of these will overlap for any industry, any app, and some of these will be a little bit more specific. But once you get it right, you'll have a great list and a summary of uh, things to look for, and you know how these different players are playing, what are their strengths and their weaknesses, and how you can leverage all, all of that to make the product you're doing a little bit more competitive. In order to save a little bit more time on generating user personas, ChatGPT can help you by giving you like a 50% of what you need. And I can ask ChatGPT to generate a user persona for a 30, 40 year old New Yorkers interested in learning about investing. And I want them, I want ChatGPT to use the best UX design practices, meaning it should have all the main parts that I need. And if I click enter, it will consider the prompts that I've given before. So if I've, I've asked already a few questions about the investment app, so it should take that into consideration as well. Uh, but generally it will give me a fairly clean and nice structure, providing me some demographics, uh, background goals, challenges, um, and then user personas needs, you no know, quotes even. So sometimes it give you slightly different answer and you can tweak it to make it a bit more specific here if you need like specific um, parts or specific paragraphs that you want to have in there but generally will give you a good starting point and with this you can further improve it and have a conversation with the clients and make sure that it really reflects what you're looking for but this is a really really good time saver and a quick way to start even if you don't have a lot of experience building user personas. Another time-consuming process is building user journeys. And if you've ever done it, you know that it really takes a lot of preparation, a lot of consideration, information to actually build it out properly. And ChatGPT will not be able to do the whole job for you, but again, it will be able to give you at least a 50% of the starting information that you need. It will give you a fairly sort of generic answer, but it also would cover, cover a lot of you know basic needs and basic steps that should be in the flow. So all you will need to do is hopefully add more specific details after you understand the product and the user base and business goals a bit uh, better. So for this, I'm using prompt uh, that's asking 
ChatGPT to use the previously generated user persona. So, you know, it's a good idea to have that done prior. And you can even plug in the user persona that you've generated and then improved. And then you can just feed this into ChatGPT. And you ask it to generate user journey map for a beginner investor using an educational mobile app for the first time, from signing up to learning about investing to making the first investment. And I'm asking also to know difficult parts and parts with opportunities for improvement. And this last part really helps me to consider sort of edge cases and uh, places where we have might have some sort of challenges or places where we can make uh, our product shine. So, and it gives you a really uh, fairly good answer, you know, building it or starting with awareness and sign up, onboarding profile setup, learning path and educational content, and just you know, multiple st steps and should include the whole path from signing up to making uh, the final investment. And use this, improve it with the actual information about the client and the business goals. And that should give you a fairly good and uh, complete user journey map. Any designer will be comparing different tools and processes and how and when to use them. And there will be many, many tools coming out and some will take over, but it's really important to understand the differences and know which one might work best for you. So in this example, um, I'm asking ChatGPT to compare and sort of provide me the key differences between the Framer, Webflow, and Vix in terms of their design capabilities, price, and ease of use. So if you don't know, both or all of these tools are web builders and allows you to build websites, but just use like a different technology and different flow to do it. And I have used both Webflow and Vix, but I wanted to plug in the framer and learn how that stacks and compares to the ones that I already know. And ChatGPT will give you a fairly good um, broad summary of all the key features, price and ease of use. So feel free to plug in whatever tools and processes you like to compare and use this list to give you a better understanding uh, about you know what could be the best tool for you. As a UX designer, you will be using a lot of different methods and it's not always easy to know which method to use and when. So ChatGPT can give you a very structured summary of what these different processes and methods are and how to use them in the most efficient way. So in this example, I'm using a prompt asking ChatGPT to compare and contrast A-B testing and usability testing. And these are fairly common, but quite complex concepts if you've never done it. So I'm asking ChatGPT when it's, it is the best time to use them when designing a mobile app. And it takes me to this list uh, detailing the definition, purpose, methodology, and the application on each of those methods. And you can ask further questions to learn more about these things, but it'll give you a quick answer if you need to make a sudden decision, and it's just gonna give you a better way to understand each of them. So you can plug in whatever things you're interested in, comparing them next to each other, and it will help you to understand about UX process and what tools and methodologies to use and when. Another great little hack that you can do is ask ChatGPT to generate you some starting questions that you can ask in your first user research session. So this is a really great tool for beginners and experience likewise. In both cases, the questions you will get out of ChatGPT will not be the most amazing thing you've seen, but it should follow the general guidelines for how those questions are, you know, need to be structured. And then you can add details, ask for further refinement or just, you know, sort of refine questions yourself. So if we plug in this prompt and it says, you know, what are some questions I should ask in the first user research session using a mobile app that improves sleeping? And it gives you some intro and then after that it just generates questions and then groups them by category about sleep habits, sleep quality, goals, and so forth. So generally what I found the ChatGPT can generate fairly good starting points, you know, cover a lot of general points that you would probably need to cover anyway. Uh, if you can plug in a user persona that you've generated or journey map or any other information that you have prior to this, then you can plug that in and ChatGPT should be able to digest all of that and give you even better output. But even without that, it gives you really great starting points and you can use this and conduct your first user in, you know, research and then improve as you go. So try to use this, plug in information 
that you have and you get will you know even better answers than this but this is a generally really really great th tip that is very useful for especially the beginner beginner ux designers okay so this next one is a set of three prompts and this is ideally for someone who wants to create a new project whether you are completely new and you just uh, want to add additional project to your portfolio after like completing a online course or you're someone experienced and you want to improve your portfolio add something new or change the direction of the projects you're getting so with these following three prompts, you'll be able to generate some really, really interesting ideas and then get a brief for a particular idea that you like and then even give you some ideas about what are some sort of specific things that you should look for when designing a new project. So the first prompt is uh, provide concept project ideas uh, within healthcare, fintech and edtech industries. And these are just three industries that I'm personally interested in. And I think those are really, really inter interesting and then uh, have a good impact on people in society. So I plug those in and I'm just getting some uh, ideas for each of those. I'm getting three ideas for healthcare, fintech, uh, uh, financial technologies and educational technologies. And I've already kind of went through the list and I've seen some really interesting uh, suggestions. Some are more um kind of current and some are based on future technologies like virtual reality, blockchain. Um, so the, the, the variety is pretty good here. I'm, I have not even asked for like the, you know, for a variety of options, but that's what I'm getting. I'm really like what I see and it gives me even, you know, further explanation about, you know, the, the task at hand. So, so this would be the first thing to get you started. And then once you pick something, then the next prompt that I will put in, is, I'm just gonna ask to generate an example brief for a particular project. So let's say that, you know, I I was quite interested about teaching financial literacy, you know, for, uh, to kids. So let's plug that in just like that and click enter. And then I think ChatGPT should be able to generate you a fairly detailed and clear brief giving you specifics about the audience and you know key features that should be put in place and so forth okay so it's still going and it that's really really great description i'm not gonna go through all of it but you can see that it's a really really detailed it goes you know gives you the overview uh target audience key features gamification related uh, information design and user experience data privacy security uh, timeline. So this is this really gives you, I think, a fairly realistic um, project brief. If you were to start with a client, you know, it's sometimes you would get even less information than this. So if you're starting out, having more information, I think, is helpful. So, you know, you you have a brief and you have a project idea, and then something on top of it that I will I want to do is the last prompt is as follows so what are some innovative ways to improve user experience of a mobile app that and we want to plug in the same project description mobile app that teaches financial literacy Okay, so you could spend a little bit more time just doing this really on the spot here and just you know trying to see what ChatGPT can come up. So here we are. So essentially the point of this last question is we have the idea, we have the brief, and then I wanted to get a list of the general ideas or features that are usually in these types of products. And I wanna kind of, this, this gives me like a summary of market, a summary of the competitors and different apps that already, you know, might offer this uh, type of service. And it gives me sort of features and ideas of what could go into that project. So this could be a, you know, you don't have to use this particular prompt, but I think it's really cool just to get a bit more context and sort of understand what the market is doing. So I think this is plenty of information for you to start. You can, you know, further ask to generate user personas, journey maps, you know, pretty much 
like the whole process. But don't forget that this is really just like a 50% of what you need. You really need to spend the time to talk with people, to invest, uh, investigate the market and, you know, trends and think about all the possible possibilities that are going on. But for the kickstarting and just, you know, getting things rolling, I think this is a great three set prompts to get you started and creating new project in no time. One of the basic things that you can do with ChatGPT is help you get rid of the lorem ipsum that you're using. Hopefully you, you're not, but again, realistically in some scenarios when you're working on a project and the client uh, you know, is not quite sure about what should happen in the product and you're kind of working together to figure things out, you sometimes use lorem ipsum just to fill in the gaps and make sure that you have some sort of structure and some sort of content to play with and design. So what I've tried to do is ask ChatGPT to generate me some of that content. Um, and this is a really, really great way to introduce real words, real content about a specific concept. And it saves a lot of time because you don't have to do that. So if you plug in the project brief or some keywords, ChatGPT will be able to generate you some pretty good descriptions. And you can just specify what sort of uh, section you're filling out and then it, it should be able to give you a fairly good answer it's not doing such a great work when you're giving like a set limit of words or characters uh, because it needs some sort of like i guess flexibility uh, to make sure that it makes sense what it's writing but it can even you know help you with that as well so in this case i've just asked, asked to generate one sentence description about a you know, educational platform teaching kids literacy, uh, financial literacy. So, and this is what I'm getting, which is, I think, really good. Empower young minds with AI-driven interactive education platform, equipping kids with financial literacy skills through gamified learning experience and virtual financial simulations. So this could be like a, one of the intro um, sections on the website, just explaining very clearly what you're offering and you can use it for anything so feel free to use it and stop using Laura Bipsum use this this is a great way to inspire the project clients and then just help you have a better idea of what you're working on one of the best prompts that I managed to write um, is prompt that helped me to create and update my portfolio so I keep on editing and redesigning my portfolio pretty much every year and in this case I just wanted to introduce a, like a different structure to the content and the way that I talk about projects so that it's more consistent across the board and as you can see it has some text it has some images to support it um, it's pretty straightforward but you know I'm just I've just built a template that helps me to add projects kind of more easily once I've done with it uh, rather than you know doing like a custom page every time. This is just my approach to it. So I've used this particular prompt asking ChatGPT to generate a case study, including project brief problems, requirements, and so forth, and highlighting main points and including the relevant keywords. And after that, you just plug in the text that you hopefully written yourself about a project, what you've done, very detailed and just you know, noting all the different parts and processes and results whatnot and it doesn't have to be uh, you know really well written as, as long as you have that even like in a bullet point format or whatever that's the now that's the beauty you just you could just list it out and then plug it in to this uh, prompt and then it will give you a pretty good results so i've just used a different kind of example that i've also generated with chat gpt and it digested digested all of that and provided uh, you know the output exactly how I wanted it, project brief, problems, one, two, three, requirements as a bullet points, uh, design process, all one to six, you know, results and, and keywords for industry and products that you can also plug in for your meta tags. So this is a really, really powerful time saver for me, uh, just using that prompt and including your description about the product. It does not have to be pretty or anything, but this way you'll have a, a really nice structure that is very easy to read and kind of scan through and both clients and you should really like the way that it turns out. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new that you will be able to apply to your design process today. If you liked content like this, don't forget to subscribe. And I would really love to hear how you use AI, in this case, ChatGPT, in your design process. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.